Um, okay, I think for the most part I've run out of stuff to build. So I made this for really no reason. However, I have an overabundance of guns. So that's great in a sense. Uh, I'll repair these two shotguns because I'd rather just have one at full health than two like half-assed because not really, I'd, I'd just rather not worry about it and have the inventory space. So I'll just stick with that. A uh, submachine gun here. Uh, I'll, I want to have a good one in there actually. Uh, I want to have some ammo in here too. That's probably a good idea. Sounds like they're getting kind of close. I need to cough. Probably like cough. I'm gonna like get absolutely destroyed by things. <coughs> Still alive. What an accomplishment. Um. Okay. I, okay. I need to. I need to. I need to organize this. Pistol, go away. Okay. I don't want. I don't. Pistol. Okay. Pistol, you can stay. I'm just kidding. I'm just. I'm just giving you a rough time, Mr. Pistol Man. Uh. Okay. So fire axe we don't need right now. Pickaxe we don't really need at this current moment. Uh, I don't need a bone shiv. I don't need all of that. So I'll throw that out. Not, well, I'm not throwing it out. Like why would I ever do that? Uh. Okay. I I seriously feel like there's like a zombie nurse sucking my dick because she is making some really like slurpy sounds, and I'm just saying. Those are not the sounds a zombie should be making. Like, if I was a zombie, like, I'd be going like, uh, uh, not... Because that's exactly the sound they're making. So, I don't know what this game's suggesting. Apparently, it's suggesting that zombies give fantastic blowjobs. Because that's, that's the message I'm getting. So, this game obviously isn't for kids. Okay. Sexual innuendos everywhere. It's not like the blatantly... The blatant female model with giant tits. Not like that's a dead giveaway. Just saying, don't shoot the messenger. Alright, just feeling overly cynical today. Cynical Brit 2.0, cynical poll. Yeah, cynical poll. That sounds like, that sounds like what you'd name. Cynical poll, that sounds like the name of a stripper poll, okay? Like, it sounds like the name, like, it, that's cynical poll. Like, that's the one thing that, like, about being Polish. If you didn't know, I'm Polish. One thing about being Polish, like, the correct termology for someone who is Polish is Pole. Like, I'm a Pole, okay? I'm a Pole. I'm just sitting here, ladies be dancing dirty. Actually, that's fantastic. I love being a Pole. I got strippers dancing all over me. Oh, my God, why did I not think of this? This is fantastic. Never mind, I love being a Pole. Kind of, okay. It's, it's, got, its, it's got its pros and cons. Like, being a Pole on one end... You got, you got bitches dancing all over you, 24 set, not really, it's really only like when the people are actually watching, but still, you got bitches dancing all over you, like, they're, they're having a fun time, they're just like, oh yeah, go hard in the paint, totally not referencing a rap song, yeah, go hard on the, okay, yeah, I'm just taking it too far, but yeah, to the con side, who wants to be like a pole? What if I'm like a flagpole? Think of it that way. Like, it's stupid in that sense. Unless, like, it's a flagpole at a strip club, in which case, okay, it got a bit better, but like a flagpole in front of a school. No one wants to be that. I need to eat. This is actually really bad. I need to eat. Let's eat. Also, let's drink because I'm really thirsty. Really thirsty. Thirstier than the people at those strip clubs. Just kidding, the strip clubs are awesome. Not like I've ever been to one, I actually haven't. Oh no, I know. They won't let me in. I wonder why. Probably because I'm a pole and I shouldn't like I shouldn't be moving in the first place. I'm just like, oh hey, it's a walking pole. <laughs> Look at that. What's he doing out there? <laughs> I don't know. Get him back in here. We need, we need cinnamon dancing all over him. Let's go. Yeah, totally never works out like that. But yeah, still, being called a Pole, like, I'd rather go with the Polish terminology, which is a Polak, because that sounds more badass. It sounds like, sounds like a flying pigeon. Alright, like a Polak, that sounds like some kind of bird. Birds are badass, okay? You know why? Because we fly. Can Poles fly? No. Can people fly? No. We're a wait, we're people. Okay, so we're like, we're like a mutant. We're like a mythological creature, I guess. 
Okay, whatever. Enough bambling on about poles and the different variants. Uh, the zombies are still making no progress whatsoever. Uh, apparently they become stupider from that one time I got destroyed by them in the Alpha 2 episode because that was still to Oh well, at least they're, they're still going hunting. Still destroying a stag. While Mr. Pole, the pole of sticks, the pole of cinnamon is safe in his little attic. Okay, I'm getting like really nasally congested now, so that's just the one thing to add on to the list of stupid shit. Uh, yeah. Message of the story being sick sucks, being a pole is awesome, it's stupid, but still awesome. Awesome if you're at a strip club. Because everyone is dancing on that pole. Actually, thinking about that, I mean, if everyone's dancing on that pole, what if it's... Okay, I'm not even going to finish that thought. You probably know where I was going with that. Let's just cut it there and pretend like it never happened. Let's just say... Let's just leave it with the girls dancing. I like that. I like that. Alright. Yeah. Well... That was a pretty interesting five hour in game rant. Actually that was actually a pretty decent rant compared to my other rants. I think I think before I've gone in depth on like the geometry of boxes. But I think that was a lot more interesting conversation while staring at a wooden block. I almost called it a wooden pole. Wooden pole, that'd be painful. Well it depends on the type of wood, I guess. Ooh, speaking of wood, I just realized Another sexual innuendo that just popped in my head. Yeah, just great. I've been staring at wood during that entire conversation. Let's <laughs> just acknowledge that. <laughs> just acknowledge that for a sec. I've been staring at. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> this is like, this is like a, this is like a half like, dying cough of laughter. Like you, you know what I'm talking about, right? You know what I'm talking about. Okay, I actually have to really cough now. No, no joke. <coughs> Oh man. Uh can't wait till I'm not sick anymore. Oh man, I'm gonna go back to the thug life of uploading YouTube videos. I really enjoy it. Yeah, so this episode really is just a rant. It's a pretty good rant though, you gotta admit. I mean, come on, it was pretty interesting. And I just, I'm just holding out here because I don't want to get raffle stomped by zombies and lose all my hard earned stuff. Actually, I, I just lose my hot bar, so. Nothing too disastrous. Not too bad. Alright, well looking back here, a gardening hoe will probably be good since I do want to go farming. Do want to be a farmer later on, so let's let's just let farmer Joe here craft his little 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 gardening hoe. Oh my god, I just realized that's like the third sexual innuendo. A hoe. Just look at this. Like it, all, all of this is just a calculated sequence of events I've thought of prior to this recording because the coincidences happening here with these innuendos is just too great. Like honestly, like I, I don't even want to look at anything because some some kind of innuendo is going to happen. We all know it. Okay, let's not deny it. I probably should craft some more sticks. I'm kind of having a shortage of those. I might be limiting my crafting options a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something because there's nothing really too interesting to craft right now, so I don't know. I really don't. Like, I seriously feel like I've missed something because there's nothing, like, vital that's missing from my grand scheme of things, so yeah. Well, s okay. I just realized it took me, like, seven in-game hours to do this, but I, I was trying to do inventory management. Now, how that progressed to a talk about strip clubs, poles, a dancer named Cinnamon, and wood is one that is beyond my comprehension. But, let's just get, get, let's just get back to the task at hand and organize my inventory. All in favor, say nothing because this is pre-recorded, so nothing really, nothing is really going to change anything. You can change me next time I go off on a rant. Not really. I don't know. I don't know. Unless I like, unless I have like a live like live feed just popped up here. Like, do this, do that. How do you know what I'm doing? I don't know. I should be a stand-up comedian. That'd be fantastic. Not really. I'd probably be booed off stage. 
And I just like be like, fuck you guys, jump off into the crowd, and like be be whisked off by my savoring fans of my three friends I forced to come because I gave them free tickets and uh, paid for all their beers. Yeah, again. Yeah. I, I, the, okay, the more the more I talk about any subject, is just the more depressing and embarrassing it gets, and the more I don't organize my inventory. Okay, what do I want in my inventory? I want a shotgun. Yes. I want shotgun shells. Yes. I want to put half in there just in case I die. Yes. Half in there in case I die. Yes. Bone ships. I don't care about it. Yes. Painkillers because they are good. Yes. It's 8 o'clock. I should go soon. Like, outside. Yes. Um. Alright. Well, sh with all the stuff, I'm relatively okay. I want to... I do want to have this in order of like importance though, like usability, because shells and stuff should be at the end. Uh, magazine, alright. Let's throw that. Okay, I'll just take all the magazine, it's, it's pistol, who cares? Who cares about pistols? I'll throw that there. Torches, yeah. Alright, well that's good. That's a decent job at inventory management. Actually not, this is terrible, but... Oh, hey, sticks. Those should stack. Awesome! I did great. Alright, damn it. I need a fire axe. Alright, well, I'll make five my, like, utility. Oh, so a couple hours later, it seems like they... Oh my god, I just one-hit a wood plank! That's the first time in, like, 60 episodes I've been able to do that. Oh my god. I feel so powerful. Why? Why have I neglected this? Why am I so stupid? Why am I about to get raped by zombies? Why are my frame rates hitting the shitter at the worst possible time? I don't know. All these questions and more answered later. There's a corpse here. What the? How did I miss a corpse? Just a dead body? Okay, well, fun fact. If you jump on the corpse, it makes the correct sounds now. Haha. <laughs> if you watch my update video, you know all about that. Because I spawned some corpses in. Oh my god, they're trying to build a trench. Next thing you know, they're gonna be like, they're gonna be placing spikes down. Actually, seven days to die devs, if like one of you guys watch my series for some reason, do not take that suggestion to heart, because I'd probably hate you for life. Because that's the most intimidating thing I can think of, just zombies that place stuff. Yeah, okay, like if you make a class of zombie that can place stuff, I think I'd hate you forever, while at the same time, that'd be like one of the coolest things. <coughs> okay, so back from my cough attack. Uh, I'd probably hate you, but that'd probably be one of the coolest things ever. Not gonna lie. Like, if you zombies that play stuff, like Enderman from Minecraft, I guess, that'd be terrifying. Oh god, okay, I'm just gonna plop all my 10mm magazines. Uh, alright, so we have the stag there. It's about 9 30 so I've been recording for a good amount and there are some houses here so let me just loot let, I'm not gonna leave you with a total cliffhanger this car will foreshadow what kind of loot is in the houses well food literacy and Molotov cocktails that's my interpretation and it's the best interpretation oh god stay away from me oh god those frol hey, is that a pig oh I've never seen a pig before or I have like one time I think. I don't know. But yeah, that's going to be it for now. So when we do come back, we're going to be searching these houses. We are going to be heading up north trying to get to Dierzaville on a Coronado. Uh, farm all that stuff. Then we're going to start making our house over there. And uh, hopefully it is not terrible. I, I know I need sand. That's one thing I know. I'm going to ask some of my friends like Cage, who I did the multiplayer series with. And I'm still currently doing. I'm going to ask him for some help with uh, how to make a decent base uh, like a little bit of help to just like get started and also how to make reinforced concrete because that's going to be a big thing so I'm just going to start over by this house because I'm probably going to forget but yeah so if you guys enjoyed the video as always if you did be sure to like this is going to be Star Snipe signing out love you guys see ya